All right, guys, Clash of Champions 2020 is coming up tonight, and I am so looking forward to this pay-per-view. <laughs> um, not really. This pay-per-view is probably going to suck big time because WWE has sucked for a long time, and I've always been a huge WWE fan, and I think that as long as they're around, I'm always going to keep an eye on them, at least at a distance, and I always check the wrestling news. I don't watch the weekly programs. But I do like to watch the pay-per-views if I can get a chance, at least just to hang out with my cousin or hang out with some friends, eat some good food, and we can laugh and joke. And it can always be a good time no matter what. But I don't expect a great show at all. And there's only a couple of matches that I'm maybe mildly interested in. And I expect to be disappointed in them. I'm pretty pessimistic anymore when it comes to WWE. It's really hard for me to be optimistic. And it can be kind of a good thing because if I set my bar extremely low and they end up having just some average matches, then it can make the show seem like it's great. But you know what? I'm a huge fan of AEW, and I don't always watch Dynamite Weekly either, but I do love to turn into their pay-per-views, and I think they've been putting on an amazing product. So I think it's still a great time to be a wrestling fan, but let's see what WWE has for us tonight. And like I said, I haven't really been keeping up. I'm going to look at this card on CNET.com. It's going to talk about each match. I'm going to try to predict who I think might win, what might happen without really knowing a lot of what's going on. Let's talk about it. First of all, we're going to have the Raw Women's Championship, which they think will be on the kickoff show. I don't know if it's been announced that it's on the kickoff show. That's pretty crap whenever they defend a title, any title, on the kickoff show. Uh, a title should be defended on the main show. The match, though, is Asuka, who is the women's champion for Raw, because there's the women's champion on Raw, women's champion on SmackDown. They have these two major brands. They also have NXT, but that's kind of a completely separate thing. But it's going to be Asuka, who is a great wrestler, versus Zelina Vega, who I thought was just a manager. I didn't know that she could wrestle. I don't know how long she's been doing this now. But she was a valet. She used to come out with Andrade. But... Uh, you know, I don't know how good she is. I'm imagining that she's not really that great. She might be better than I think. But I definitely think that Asuka's going to keep the title. Asuka's going to win. There could be some shenanigans, maybe a false finish. I really doubt it, though. I think Asuka's just going to win clean and beat Zelina Vega. And it's crap that's on the kickoff show. I'm probably not even going to watch that match at all. I'm really not even interested in watching that match. Okay, SmackDown Tag Team Champions Cesaro and Nakamura versus Lucha House Party. I'm mildly interested in this match because I'm always going to like Cesaro and Nakamura, even though I think Nakamura especially and even Cesaro have been phoning it in for a long time. They just go through the motions. They do their same moves. I know they're both capable so much, and they've had a lot of great matches in the past. Lucha House Party, I don't know exactly what members are going to be wrestling for them, but they're all smaller guys. They're Lucha Libre wrestlers. They're going to be doing the flips, while Cesaro and Nakamura are the hard hitters. Cesaro with the uppercuts, Nakamura with the kicks, and um, I think that Nakamura and Cesaro are going to keep the tag titles. I hope they do. I'll be rooting for them. I don't really know what's going on with all that. I think this match could be somewhat entertaining. Now the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Street Profits versus Andrade and Angel Garza. I don't really know much about Angel Garza. I know Andrade is a good singles wrestler. I like the Street Pof Profits. I think they're funny. They're good. But I'm less interested in this match than I am with the previous tag team match. I still think that the Street Profits will keep their title, but maybe Andrade or Angel Garza will, will win the titles. I don't know. Class of Champions actually is supposed to be... I guess all, all the titles are being defended tonight. That's the theme. Um, so I guess they had to put one on the pre-show, so maybe that's why the Oscar one is expected to be on there. I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just say the Street Profits will keep the titles, but I don't care about this match at all, really. Women's Tag Team Championship. Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax versus the Riot Squad. I didn't know that the Riot Squad was still around. I think Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler are a great tag team. They're just starting, they just won the titles on the last pay-per-view, and they don't get along with each other so much, but they're both devastating. Nia Jax is really big, Shayna Baszler has the MMA background, and uh, she, she does all the holds. And this seems like a match that should be on Raw or SmackDown. This should be a weekly televised match. This is not a big time 
pay-per-view match, but I guess it's one of their first title defenses as far as I know, unless they've defended it before. So it's basically a throwaway match. Obviously, Nia Jax and Shayna are going to win against the Riot Squad. SmackDown's Women's Championship, Bayley versus Nikki Cross. I know there's a thing going between Bayley and Sasha. Is Sasha going to cost Bayley the title? Where she'll interfere somehow and Nikki will become the champion. I would be fine with that. I hope that does happen. I don't know. Are they going to keep the title on Bayley so Sasha and Bayley fight over the women's title? Or do they just want to have Sasha and Bayley as their own program and take the title separately? You know what? I really wish they would give Nikki Cross the title. But man, you know what? I don't think so. This is WWE. They're going to disappoint. They don't give the fans what they want. So they're going to keep the title on Bayley. That's what I'm... So far, nobody's going to lose their titles. That's what I'm predicting. But you would think that somebody would lose it during the night. I'm looking at this card, and I'm thinking that the title's not going to change at all. It could. I, I might predict that the title will change in one of these matches. We'll see. The next match they have on here is the United States Championship, Bobby Lashley versus Apollo Crews. I think in the last pay-per-view, Bobby Lashley beat Apollo Crews for the U.S. title. Now they're having a rematch. I wasn't interested in it before, and I'm not interested in it now. I think that Bobby Lashley will keep the title, and that match is straight garbage. Okay. Intercontinental Championship ladder match. This is one of the matches that I'm very interested in, but I don't expect anything because whenever I get my hopes up, I get extremely disappointed. This is Jeff Hardy versus Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles. Again, Jeff Hardy is the... This is for the Intercontinental Championship, and this is a ladder match, so it's a triple threat ladder match for the Intercontinental title. I didn't realize that Jeff Hardy is going into it as the champion. For some reason, I thought AJ was the champion. Sami Zayn is claiming that he's the Intercontinental Champion because he left with the title, and I guess they made a new one, and then, and then whatever. So, uh, all three of these guys have very unique styles. I think they're all really good. Ladder match is going to be interesting. That's Jeff Hardy's playhouse, obviously. Sami Zayn, as far as I know, he's kind of a heel. He's probably going to be doing a lot of heelish tactics, but so is AJ. So, I don't know. This match has at least got to be okay. I'd be surprised if this match stunk altogether. But I don't think it's going to be as good as it should be. It's going to be somewhat of a disappointment because it's probably just going to be average. Man, the title might change hands here. I don't know. Jeff Hardy, AJ just had it. So, I'll go out on a limb here and I'm going to predict that Sami Zayn's going to win the title. And then he's going to claim that, you know, he's still the Intercontinental Champion. Could be wrong. But I think something different will happen in this match. So I'm going to say Sami Zayn's going to win the title. Now we have another, one of the biggest matches that they're really advertising for this is the Universal Championship. It's Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso, his cousin. Roman Reigns is a big, huge dude. Jey Uso is a littler guy. They're both Samoan. This is interesting because Roman Reigns has changed his character. He's always been mostly a good guy, even though he's got a lot of booze. Now he's gone to a more bad dark side, and he's supposed to have a different attire for this match, so it's interesting just to see how he's going to come out, how he's going to act. But I think that everybody is expecting a straight beat down on Jey Uso. It's probably going to be ugly, actually. Roman Reigns is probably going to get more over as a bad guy in this match, so uh, it's going to be interesting just to see what will happen. There's no way in hell that Roman Reigns is going to lose this match, so Roman Reigns is keeping the title. And then the final match they have is the ambulance match, which I guess with that gimmick this could be kind of interesting, but it's Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton. They can both be good in instances, but they can also be very boring a lot of the time. So even though this is an ambulance match, man. Hopefully there's some shenanigans that make it interesting, but I just don't really care about this match. I really don't, and I don't see Drew McIntyre losing the title either. So, uh, I see Drew McIntyre keeping the title on that one. And I know that him and Keith Lee have had some things going on, and I know that Keith Lee beat Randy Orton, so I don't know if Keith Lee is going to be involved. I don't know if there's going to be any other surprises on this show, because I haven't been keeping up so closely. But man, I'll have fun watching it with my cousin, but it's going to be a stinker. So, looking forward to that triple threat ladder match. I want to see what Roman Reigns will do. I don't see anything else on here too interesting. If the title changes hand in any of these matches, I'm going to predict it'll be the triple threat ladder match. You know, 
It probably could change more. I don't know. So anyway, that's my predictions. All right, guys. We'll see after the show. God bless.